Dela Wright, my envy this. Welcome. You have made yourself a royal sadist because of unnecessary jealousy. It's such a shame. All hell was let loose as Blow Blow is rumored to have humiliated Olytic because of Oni of Ife and Queen Naomi. Hey, is this for real, right? Is this for real? That's the question a lot of people are asking. You know something? The jealous ones are troublesome to others, but a torment to themselves. Jealous people are troublesome people to other people, but indeed they are, you know, a torment to themselves. Now, no, they say the altercation between um, uh, politic and blow blow knows no bound. Like they are going at each other, coming for each other, bath, both, both bath. That because of all the things that Oletik said to um, uh, Blah Blah, Blah Blah has openly told her that, yeah, that she has turned herself to a royal sadist because of unnecessary jealousy. Now, all this drama that is happening right now, the disappointment, the anger, the frustration and everything, is happening because Nami seems to be gaining more grounds. Imagine that uh, people like Blow Blow will stand up and say, look, I want to stand for Olori Naomi. That is a very big thing that has happened to Olori Naomi right now. Even though a lot of people say it might not be for real, yeah, I do also believe that it might not necessarily be for real. But for now, it is what is um, obtainable, right? So what we are hearing right now is that Blah Blah now said that um, uh, uh, Olympic has made herself a royal sadist because of unnecessary jealousy. Now, if you have been following the trend and hearing the things that people are saying, that is if the information is true. Blah, um, Olympic has become something else. And you, as an individual who see her, you notice that like it's almost like a dual personality disorder. <laughs> now, if you have been following her social media hand, handle on Instagram, when you go on Instagram, you see a completely different person there. She looks so flawless. She looks so sweet. She looks so everything. But when you come on um, um, this other, uh, um, in reality, where they take um, uh, pictures of them when they attend events and all of that, you now see a completely different person. Now, if you go to her Instagram page, she is pleasant. She's everything, but when you come to where she's attending event, almost she looks like Mama Ijebo. Like she, her face, everything, her mannerism, everything, like it spells trouble, 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 right? You see the way she looks, you see the way she frowns, no joy whatsoever. If you have noticed that also, I want to see it in the comment section, right? And so, they say, um, Blow Blow told her that she has made herself a royal sadist. That is a shame that she has turned to this person that she has turned to. Honestly, if you see her with other lorries during events, you will never, ever love her for anything. But when you go to her Instagram page, she is completely different. Yeah, she is always, always sad. Like, there's nothing, nothing that you do for her that is enough. She's always unhappy and all of that. And I really pray that you know, she's able to find a way to sustain her marriage because if she doesn't, hey, the way they would laugh at her, eh? because we remember when she came and gave um, uh, people counsel those days that some people just get married because they want to get married and then you should be married. You, you should get married and stay in your marriage. You know that when people are not married yet, they are able to talk. Their mouth can open and they can say anything. But when they are enter marriage, they now see that marriage is not a tea party affair, okay? It's not just about the celebration. It's so much that has to do with marriage. Now, they say there is this altercation that is going on in the palace. How Oloris are hitting on uh, Blow Blow. They are, they, are, they are not liking her at all because she got up one day overnight and she declared to be on the side of her husband. In her own words, she said that there is no need. A lot of people have analyzed the situation. They said that the reason why she may have decided to be um, on the side of her husband may just be because she saw that, look, 
with the Queen Nami in the picture is better than with um with, without her in the picture because at least with Queen Nami in the picture, um, um uh, somebody can be there to streamline some of the activities of the Oni of the Fair. Because during the birthday, we saw what happened, the information we got, how um, uh, people came from um, uh, uh, all over the place. Everybody was flexing more so uh, as Oni of Ife, bright to be Oni of Ife, this, they were all over the place. With Olori Nami, that would never even happen because KBSC would not permit it, right? And so what we are getting right now is that, uh, um, you know, Blood Blow must have thought through it and saw that as a mature person, uh, got to realize that uh, it's better for Olorinami to be in the picture than outside the picture. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Bella Ram. I bring you fresh and spicy juice from the source. And still on the Royals. How are you guys doing? I appreciate you so much. I love you. And share and do well with my people. If you yet to subscribe, kindly go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And do not forget to turn on the notification bell. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Happy, you know, weekends to each and every one of you. So as we are hearing, they said the agony that um, uh, Oletik has right now um, is just rubbing off on everybody. Now, the agony is that KBSC decided to go back to Olori Naomi. And you know that with Naomi in the picture now, they are not getting KBSC as much as, you know, they would want to get KBSC. Now, when Naomi was not in, in the picture, it was challenging, even having to spend time with your husband, not to talk of when Naomi got back into the picture. Right now, everything that Oni of Ife is, you know, doing is trying to, you know, um, 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 give Nami maybe like her last time with him. And, you know, he is focused on Olori Nami, trying to ensure that Nami is comfortable, trying to keep Nami enough company so Nami will not be lonely. And they said the entire time it's been Nami, Nami, Nami. Can you see who, you know, um, had to go to China even uh, this, uh, 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 within the course of the week? They said that KBSC even wanted Naomi to go with him and later he changed his mind because he was going to make so many trips. Like he was going to stay in China for one day and go elsewhere, like make three trips as in every day, one, one until he comes back to Nigeria, which is what he did. And because he knew that that was going to be very stressful for Lori Naomi, he asked Naomi to stay back. And he made the trip. And so, with all of that, the fact that KBSC doesn't give them, um, um, you know, that time again, all the time he spends with Olori Nami is one area that is eating them up so much. And right now, they are blaming Blow Blow for it because Blow Blow happens to be that character that is supporting um, the Oni of Ife. I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you so much. Do not forget, these are all alleged rumored and speculated information making the rounds on social media.